So we're gonna see Tamika returning in episode 7 and she's made a bold statement. Can Tari become a bigger monster than his own father Ghost? Is that even possible? So we're gonna see Tamika questioning Tariq as will Sax. Now he may be out of jail for now but he's still got the issues with the Tardis, the issues with Rashad Tate because he still needs his help to save his sister Yaz and he's also got plenty of trust issues when it comes to people like Lauren. Even though she was manipulated by Carrie, Tariq doesn't know this but we're also gonna see the action pick up especially when it comes to the Tahadas, especially because Lorenzo wants to get Queens back on lock and bring the business back to the streets and out of Stansfield and this could cause a war and something that has definitely kicked off an internal war between Kane and Drew and we really are about to see Drew on Demon Time in episode 7 and for the rest of this season. But we're gonna get into all of this in this episode 7 trailer breakdown but let's kick things off with Tariq and then we'll come to the Tahadas. Now with Tariq, he may be out but he's not free just yet. He's out on bail and he's got an ankle monitor which is restricting him so he's got Effie and Brayden holding it down for him but he's gonna have to try and find a way of proving his innocence but how does he do this without snitching on Kane? And how is he gonna find a way for the investigation to turn their attentions on someone else? For example, Kane. The issue is with Tariq, he's low on people he can trust. Effie and Brayden are the only two people he does trust right now but Tariq needs to use everybody at his disposal even if it means using the Tahadas against their own. For example, using Diana against Monet. That is something I can definitely see Tariq doing. Tariq respected Monet's wishes of staying away from Diana, even though you could tell she really wants him. And I reckon we could see Tariq sleeping with Diana in episode 7, especially after the stunt Kane pulled with him thinking that Monet was involved. And Diana isn't even seeing eye to eye with Monet and hasn't done so for a very long time. Once Diana does find out about Mecca and Zeke, it's only gonna tip her over the edge in terms of their relationship. So I definitely think Tariq can convince Diana to side with him because Brayden did tell Tariq that it was only Moni and Kane who were there when they met up but Tariq's back on campus and he's gonna be back in his canonical studies class with both Carrie and Rashad Tate and we're gonna hear Carrie asking Tate how can a judge grant him bail especially when one of the murder charges was for a cop but little does she know it was Tate's influence that made it happen for his own benefit of course but I can see this classroom scene next week between Tate, Carrie and Tariq being very very awkward especially because the topics are based around ethics and Carrie is in for one hell of a ride herself because Tariq will know after the hallucination scene that he had of Kanan that he needs to look at the whole chessboard. Kanan told him that he needs to look at who was involved in him being arrested not just Kane. So I think he's going to be thinking about all the people that were responsible and let's not forget Carrie was a huge player who manipulated Lauren and with the disagreement that she had with Lauren I do wonder if Lauren will decide to really start helping Tariq and prove her loyalty and help prove his innocence because innocent until proven guilty right? And the whole issue with Carrie lying to her will only push her against her own professor especially now that she knows she was sleeping with Zeke and what will now start to make sense for Lauren is how she got this card that said a professor at Stansfield is sleeping with a student in episode 7 of the first season because at first she thought Tariq was making it up and I really wouldn't be surprised if this is something that Lauren threatened Carrie with and something that became public knowledge which gets Carrie kicked out of Stansfield and she really is playing a very dangerous game trying to pin this on Tariq because there really is only one winner in this situation even though she is right they've definitely got the right man for Jabari's murder anyway but the more she starts to question Tariq and the more she starts to get involved and no more than she should she may as well dig her own grave and McLean will probably tell her this but Cooper Sacks he tells Tariq that someone who has access to him is framing him and the trailer shows him closing the door on the person that he let into his life the most who's Lauren because he can't trust anyone just like Kanan told him sometimes it's the ones you love the most and keep that in mind for raising Kanan by the way there's a reason he said this for what he's been through as well but the pieces of the puzzle are right in front of Tariq all he needs to do is find a way of putting it all together and Kanan helps him do this and so does Effie you can tell both of them really do help Tariq realize the bigger picture and they're the true voice of reason that Tariq needs because the only person that he could trust in Tasha is she's gone and she's not coming back anytime soon but they did drop a very subtle hint that we could hear Tasha in a phone call with Tariq so that's something that may happen later on this season but one person who is returning is Tamika and she's probably thinking here we go again with yet another St. Patrick we're gonna hear Tamika telling Cooper Sacks that if they don't do something now then he's gonna become a bigger monster than his own father and that is a huge statement coming from someone who knew exactly who James St. Patrick was what he was capable of and exactly what he'd done only a very few people knew who Ghost was and Cooper Sacks and Tamika are two of them they were just never able to prove it but they are also two people that know Tariq is the one who killed his own father 
Now, the last time Tariq asked for Tamika's help, Tariq looked like an innocent kid because of Ghost. And he told Tamika that he wasn't a monster. But the problem is for Tariq, he isn't a kid anymore. He's making grown man decisions in a grown man's world. And now he's got to pay the price. So Tamika knows very well who's sitting right in front of her this time around compared to season 1. Someone who constantly has bodies linked to him and tied to him. There was Ray Ray, Kanan, Ghost and now Jabari and Officer Ramirez. But would Tamika be willing to work for someone like Tariq? I'm not so sure because she's someone who's straight by the book and she's someone who will never support perjury. But maybe she's thinking she can save Tariq from becoming a monster just like Ghost. So let's wait and see. But Tariq still has the issue with Rashad Tate that he still needs to deal with because he really is his only hope of getting his sister back and we see a meeting of some sort with Yaz and we're gonna see her being put back into the system because they would never allow her to stay with Tariq who's out on bail with a double homicide charge and Grandma Estelle, she needs to complete her rehab but between Tate and Tariq, let's not forget what was said in episode 3. Tate made Tariq promise that he'll owe Rashad Tate a favour which is delivering on the album which has dirt on Rick Sweeney but Rashad Tate did say he owes him plus interest and now we get into the business end of the season where we're about to find out what else Rashad Tate wants from Tariq and you can really see how this is setting up Rashad Tate's spin-off influence. And there was also a new professor that was casted for season 3 and after watching episode 6 it really could be to take Rashad Tate's place when he goes back into politics. But another thing we need to keep in mind is him helping Tariq is going to cause a conflict with his own brother Kamal because although Rashad Tate needs him free for his own benefit Kamal will only keep him behind bars for his own career. So this conflict of interest is definitely one to watch. But let's move on and talk about the Tahadas because Lorenzo is getting ready to take over Queens. He's come back and taken back the reins from Monet and he's had a real influence on Drew already. He knows who he is but that still doesn't change his mind about what his position should be. So we are really going to see what Drew is capable of in episode 7 with him tailing Kino and helping his pops reclaim the streets. Him standing here in episode 6, the same spot where he was shot, you could tell this was the moment that changed him and we're gonna see a real turn in Drew's character now that Lorenzo's home. And who knows if Drew, Lorenzo or Kane are involved in this, but you can sense there is definitely gonna be a few bodies dropping next week. Things are gonna start to get real, the action will pick up in these last 4 episodes because episode 6 really did set the foundation for the rest of the season and with Lorenzo trying to take over someone's crew, it's not gonna happen quietly. So who these guys are, we're just gonna have to wait and see. But they seem like they're not messing around. Now there is also a shot of Kane in a tunnel and we can't actually see who's approaching him but Kane tells Drew that everything that he did was to protect him. But what did Kane do now? He's always making moves first but thinking about the consequences later. So could it have been something to do with Ev? Because we all know Lorenzo knows about Drew and Ev because that's Drew's weakness. But what if you take his weakness away? What are you left with? you're going to be left with someone who has no humanity left in him and this is what will make Drew into a cold savage and I think Lorenzo knows this. But having said that, I don't think they're going to kill Ev just yet because having another body dropping on campus at Stansfield is the last thing they need. Now, we also hear Monet telling Mecca that he's going to ruin everything that they've worked so hard for and that's Mecca's plan. He wants to ruin everything, Monet just can't see it. But what's Mecca's chess moves now? He wants to meet Lorenzo and do I think it's going to happen in episode 7? I don't think so. I think they're going to make his way just an episode or two more. But that's episode 7's trailer breakdown. So drop all your thoughts down below in the comment section. Do you think Tariq will prove his innocence? Will Lauren help him? And what's he going to do about Kane? Because he said he needs to get rid of him. But he really needs to be smart about the way he does it. So I think he's going to have Diana help him. But drop all your thoughts down below on Tariq, Drew, Kane, Lorenzo and Moni and Mecca. And of course if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Powerbook 2 Ghost and Power Universe related. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.